Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. With Cinema 4D release 20's note-based material system, there is a section of notes that is very powerful, which is the context notes here. By using them you can make modifications to the UV projection of single notes, like the checkerboard here. I already added some context notes here, so let's wire them up and see what they do. This is a 2x2 checkerboard and once you select it, you can see that you cannot change the frequency of the checkerboard. So let's try this using the UV transform node, which is a context node. As you can see, it has a result output here, but there is no context input here at the node. But you can see that the node actually has some context inputs. So how can we connect a wire to these inputs? There are several ways. First, we can create a context input by right-clicking at the input area here, go to Add Inputs and choose Context. But we can also drag a wire from the context node here and release it over the input area here at the checkerboard node. Once you do so, a context menu pops up and here you can choose the context input and now it will be wired up. So what you can do now is you can make modifications to the UV transform node. For example, choose the local repetitions to be 2x2. Two two. And then you see that the UV space is now 2x2 two two here and the checkerboard adjusted and is now 4x4. Four four. If we want we can also rotate it, for example by 45 degrees and then we have a checkerboard like that. Now let's see what else we can do using the context nodes. The next one I got here is the UV distorter, which uses a noise node to distort the UVs. So let's connect this to the checkerboard node. And here you see that we now have a checkerboard, but it's completely distorted. The next cool node I want to show you is the scatter node. By using the scatter node, you can scatter the result of a node over a surface. And last but not least, I want to show you the UV reprojection node, which is also a context node. And let's connect this to the checkerboard node. And by default, it's set to angular, which is like there was nothing. But once you change the mode to be radial, for example, you see that it all adjusts. And there are some other modes like circular or box or star or finally, an angle. So you see there's a lot you can do using the context nodes. Thanks for watching! For more information on Cinema4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.